Kelsey over here, and this is another episode of Chaos Tutorial. So today we're going to be going over how to get Heroes of Might and Magic 3 running. Uh, the original game has many problems with running on Coverage Crossover. And by the way, this is a playing Windows games on Mac tutorial. Um, the HD launcher that I'm going to be using here has a version that is originally meant to be used on Windows, so it will work for Windows when it comes to playing a game that was originally not meant to be played in HD. But today's computers have displays that are in HD, so how are we going to do that? I'm going to show you how to do it in Coders Crossover, but part of it will be how you can also get it done in Windows as well. So I can install it in Windows. So without much further ado, I'm going to do a brief overview of Heroes and Might and Magic 3. And here's a Might and Magic 3, and its expansions are released as a complete version, which is what I've been using from GOG.com today, back in 2000. So, it's a game that is strategy, but uses a lot of elements you'd think of from role-playing games such as Dungeons and Dragons, where you have a hero, and that hero goes around recruiting and with their own armies, and you go around capturing your opponent's cities, and... You go around building up your heroes, so just teaching them new spells, getting them more troops, and so on. So it's an interesting kind of strategy game because you operate with armies, but your armies get supplied to cities. So it's not exactly like Command and Conquer base building, but it's an interesting kind of strategy game. Otherwise, that's how it works. So we're going to go over how to get it installed. You have to be a little bit... Uh, unconventional in your installation because here on Coverage Crossover the installation needs to be fixed in terms of how it's done with, with, with a set of pre-made install instructions known as a cross tie so the cross tie needs to be updated so as we get started we're going to go to the installation all right so when we get started we're going to do a custom install so we're going to change some things and here we've changed some parts so this is a uh, installation of rather using the installer so you have to find the setup executable from GOG there it is set up choose installer all right and in this case it's Windows 10 64 bit the default for the cross tie is Windows 7 32 bit I'm not doing it today um, GOG.com supports 64 supports 64 bits now so this is how it gets started here and first we're going to you're going to go and install the uh, special files that support the program so I'm going to skip a few times but I'm going to show okay you're going to have several of these first is the Microsoft net framework and there's a few more libraries so it's getting started here but I'm going to skip ahead a little bit because it's a long process all right here's the second part where you just have to install even the next set of microsoft net executables um, there should be several three or four for this installation okay and that's just getting required files to run the game properly so All right, so we have installation complete. Then we're going to move on a little bit to the next one. So this is, took about 20 minutes, and I shortened it down a lot. But this game does have quite a many, great many files that need to be installed. So this is the official installation of another set of executables. It should take about 10 minutes. Uh, 15 if your machine is really slow. Okay. So... 2016 there's a few more so this game is annoying it has quite a number of files to get it running um, but otherwise once it runs it runs well and I'm going to skip ahead and we're going to take a little look at the HD plus thing okay All right, after this, we are finally working on getting the actual GOG.com installation going. All right. So, 
Let's get started. Say it's finished. And move forward. All right. So here we are. We're going into the actual GOG.com installation, getting started. So if you get started here, we're going to, it's going to go pretty quick because here's a might magic is only around 500 megabytes to one gigabyte of data. It's that old of a game. It's from back when it's one one hundredth of the storage space that today's games take up. Um, it's also part of why this game is not made for HD because making it for HD graphics means more storage space. So we're done. Exit. Skip this step. It's still going. All right. So now it's going to show up, but we need to get the installation for Heroes of Might and Magic HD. So we're going to select the installer. And as this is installing and getting going, I'm going to show you where to find it. A little visual reference of where to find the HD launcher. So I'll have a link to it in the description. So this is the HD installation. All right. And this will set up the HD launcher. So English. So the right file. Oh, no, no, no. So look at the file. Find the same one. So GOG.com games. Here's a Mighty Magic 3 complete. Okay. All right. Now it's going to install the proper executable and the executable is going to be how you launch here's a might and magic 3 in hd graphics so so there he is now it is now we have it starting so i'm going to stop for a minute and i'm going to go back and show you where you find the hd launcher well, there'll be a link in the description I have a link just to make sure you go to the right place here's a might and magic 3 hd launcher here it is it's over on google actually so this is the one and we definitely do have the proper games that it's legal to purchase so we have the gog.com version there's also ubisoft store and there's epic games so all those are legal for getting it so i'm just going to download the patch there we go see that's very easy so i'll have a link in the description as i said which will make it easier for you to find this and now here's some good news um, i've had requests from my audience those matter to me. I like to know what games you're having difficulty with on crossover for getting Windows on Mac to work. So let me know in the comments of my various videos some suggestions because I can take a look at the comments of my videos and I can say, oh, that's something I could get an updated instructions for because with crossover version 25 out, things have changed a bit. There are some applications with greater compatibility than before. There are some with less. I don't know. but. Just letting you know right now that these comments are here. They matter, and I see them. So just letting you know, as those in my audience, hey, let's take a look at how to play this game. So without much further ado, we're going to go take a look at getting it installed with the mod, or rather the patch that the game runs. All right, we're getting this set up. So we're going on. So we're going to set up the executable so we'll have it in our folder. So. Set up the graphics 1440 by 900 is native to my monitor. And get that going. Now, here it is. No, I don't want an update right now, but you can do that later because I want to get started showing how it works. So, here 3DO. We go. There you go. New World Computing. And this is it. This is a Mighty Magic 3. So, I'll do a little bit of a demonstration. But otherwise, I'll just have a little bit of information about my channel and this series of tutorials. You get you get you. Here we go. All right, here we are. So campaign shadow of death this is my favorite set of campaigns here and i like playing as gail you the elf the, the sharpshooter so 
beginning of the campaign. And I'll go into it a little bit, but as I, as I go about playing this, I'm going to tell you a few things on my channel. And that should be the end of this episode. And I'll be looking forward to taking care of requests. And I'll talk to you a little bit about requests because I have had it requested to do other games. Listen, I'm listening in the comments. If you want to have other games with guides, I will do it. I can really take a look and see, okay, hey, this works. So, loading, starting the scenario. So, as it's starting, I just want to show you what's been requested, and I will take a look at it now. All right, so I've been asked to do Deus Ex Revision. I'm going to show you how it works by uh, Costa Creative. This is a mod and total conversion of the original game, Deus Ex, from 2000. And the GOTY, or Game of the Year version, came out in 2001. So this is a stealth action hybrid with RPG. So RPG stealth action hybrid. And it's pretty interesting. Um, I'd say that I like the graphics from the total conversion of the revision mod even more than I like the remaster. So this has been requested. I'm going to get working on it. In the meantime, I also have another episode, which I previously worked on, and that is a matter of how to install Steam now with Coders Crossover 25. So let's take a look at that one. All right, so this is my guide for Steam. Uh, the thumbnail I have for it right here anyways. And this is the guide for all version, all Steam games that I'll be showing you. So this is how you install Steam for all the guides I have you install Steam using this guide first. So this is the new guide. It's updated for Crossover 25, and it's a great way of running games that are normally just for Steam on Windows on Mac. So it doesn't work for everything, but I'll show you some guides on how to get it done. It should be excellent, but this is how you do it. It's my guide for Steam in general, and used as a reference for every other guide I've made. So if you want to know how to run the Steam game, use Steam, you just install it using this guide. That easy. Now I just want to say, well, if you want to support my channel, uh, subscribe and let other people know that this has a guide for running Windows on Mac. Um, you got fa family members trying to get it running on their Mac, you can let them know. As of right now, I am not at the monetized stage yet, so every little bit matters. I could do links to my blog articles, corresponding blog articles, if I get more subscribers. So um, if this is a helpful guide and you feel it would be helpful to others for emulation and for Windows on Mac, just let me know. Record on my channel and the guides to others uh, because I'd be glad to help. That's what my channel is here for. That and anime fandom. Although I've mainly been doing chaos tutorials recently, but this is what I do. And that's one of the main points on my channel is to provide a guide to how to use software. So I'm doing it here. But here as I'm playing, I need to capture my first town. I'm going to do that. Do the siege. But going over here, that's that's my what I want to deliver to you, okay? I just want to say, hey, look. This is my channel. I want to help you get emulation and games working on Mac OS, but I'll be doing more emulation as well. I have an emulation episode for Dolphin, a GameCube and Wii emulator, and I also have another one for PCSX2, and I'll be work looking at other ones soon enough, but it uh, should be fun. Guess the Trolls is great, and as I said before, I listen in the comments section to see, okay, what are some ones that my audience are having struggles with so I can try and figure it out and share it with you? Be a help. Because what good is knowledge if we don't share it? So that's my little pitch to you. I'm here to offer help in getting software running on a small channel. Um, I also have a blog. So I'll have a blog, the link in the description. I won't have an interactive link because I I'm not monetized, you need to be monetized to have an interactive link in your video. That's just how it is at YouTube right now. But I'd be glad to do that. Uh, show you a little bit about what my blog looks like. Show you my blog, 
So here it is, radiochaos2.blogspot.com. That's where you find the actual blog. And it's great because for some people, written guides with still images work better. So if you're the a reading kind of person that doesn't necessarily like to listen to a video tutorial like I have, you check out this blog. You get written guides. And it's somewhat easier to write out an article with still images. So you can see plenty of those. Plus, I have links to videos, but the main thing is it's a written guide right here. And if you are better at written tutorials, this might just be for you. So, as your guide. So, right here. All right, now here that I've left, here it is. This is where you'll see, bam. You have the new here a Might and Magic 3, H O M M 3 H D plus. That is how you start the game at now. So that's how you do it. You go to here's a Might and Magic 3 H D plus. And that's your default way of opening the game. Don't use the regular one because it won't work. Alright. Hi everyone. Kiss Nova here, and this is the ending of the video presentation on Chaos Tutorials and here's the deal if you want to see more of my uh, tutorials on getting your old games to work on Mac and you want to see more tutorials on how to do various other tasks such as very cheap ways to make YouTube videos that still look decent and much much more um, feel free to subscribe and if you want to be among the first to get each video hit the notifications and please if you enjoy liking this your vote still counts so please click the like with a big thumbs up all right you have a wonderful day and i'll be signing off